The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, in this unique dispensation of the church age, to be noted as compared to the point of the words recorded by Jeremiah long back in his epistle, in his letter towards the people, as our Lord told through Jeremiah in Jeremiah 7, 24 and following, in verse 28, the KJV translates, the truth is perished. But the Hebrew tells, the faithfulness is perished. And the Darby translation tells, the fidelity, and again a note he gives, the truth has been perished. Ultimately, either it is truth or fidelity or faithfulness, if it has been perished without having true importance for Bible doctrine, then absolutely though they have been raised and sent earlier the prophets though they have been raised and sent the men so that they could be speaking to correction they will definitely go for perish where there is no proper revelation of the word of the lord there the people will perish said proverbs in fact when though the prophets have been sent in the old testament time when they have done their work the people have really not heard the words of the lord and lord said these are the nation they do not hear bible doctrine exactly and he concludes the truth has been perished today the same apostasy is what is nothing but the rejection of bible teaching in the pulpits and what is the result of that the result of that is what we are looking today in our pulpits no proper exegesis no proper isagogics no proper categorization no proper dispensing technique of dispensations and that is what it is happening though they have the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher men say who is having time for them to inculcate and the hearers say who is having time to waste our time in the church if they don't waste their time in the church then to peel off after soaking in the water the uselessness of a grain or if not a almond seed how difficult it would be exactly it would be the same difficult in each and every believer's life to peel off that garbage if you sow almond in overnight by 12 hours or 13 hours it will soak and when you want to peel off that skin which is not useful you will easily peel it off if you don't soak that in such kind of a long time of water so that it could imbibe and get back to peeling very easily exactly the same to same pattern dear brother and you and i have to notice that if we as believers in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ do not soak ourselves in the truth, we cannot peel out that which is false in us. The greater the time, if you soak for one hour that almond seed, it will be a little difficult to remove. If it is soaked for six years, little easy. If it is for 12 hours, it will be still more easy. Exactly, greater the time that you spend in the knowledge of Bible doctrine, that is day by day renovation of your thinking, morning one hour, evening one hour, no matter what, you take Bible doctrine as number one priority. As you go along with the day by day process, so will be your time for you to note the reality of Bible doctrine doctrine the reality of the truth the reality of the word the reality of the purpose wherewith you and i have been called and you will take it to the point of realization that greater you are in the truth you get oriented to the truth and you live a life that is absolutely required as the norms and conditions of the truth demand and that is what you and i have to note and we have to note that to the point of reality that until and unless you soak yourself in the truth through the mentor ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, you cannot come to discern what is right and what is wrong, and you cannot tell whether you are in a period of apostasy or you are a period in heresy or cults, or you are walking towards the Bible doctrine to the sound knowledge. That is what you have to tell. Jeremiah told long back in 728, the truth is perished, the word of the Lord said. Today, the same thing stands written, written in the polytheism of privileges, the citizenship, we being in heaven, the royal family of God, though we have been having the doctrine of eternal security all the time. Why the truth has been perishing? Lord God, the Holy Spirit uses only the nutrient as doctrine. It doesn't go for any other thing, no emotion. And it is not possible for it to perish if you are rightly dividing the word of the Lord and if you are rightly giving number one priority for Bible doctrine. 
If there is no proper revelation of the word of the truth there, the people will perish at Bible doctrine long back. Either it is faithfulness or truth or fidelity, it will be perished if you ignore to hear Bible doctrine. If you say negative towards Bible doctrine, if you fail to expose yourself to the face-to-face -face teaching of Bible doctrine or whichever tapes or manner, whatever it is. And that is what it is happening today in our pulpits. Why the men are not happy? Why the men are not considerable? Why the men are not really looking along to the truth? Purely because they have rejected the truth, because they don't have love for the truth. They have only time for hypocritical trends to come weekly once to the church and go. And if you go in that way, it is not very possible for you to come out in this enlightenment ministry of God, the Holy Spirit, to the maximum glorification of Christ, wherewith it stands written in Second Corinthians 4.16, day by day renovation of your thinking, day by day renovation of your mind. Do not conform to this world. If you are saying six days in the world and only one day in the week of the church or you are not being greater six days in the world rather than being one day in the church that meant to say you are being confirming to the world rather than renovating your thinking and that is what you need to note very carefully because we are not the citizens of this earth we are the citizens of heaven dear brethren we have the completed canon we have the indwelling ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit we have everything given for us and why do you want to conform to this world? And why do you want to perish the truth and bury the unique spiritual life, the mystery doctrine of the church age? Get back to the reality of the word. Ask your volition what it is. Search it diligently under the truth of Bible doctrine and know where are you walking. So which way you want to go, you decide. We shall continue in the next tape. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that I was going to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will return in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord, for we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.